Hey, Dustin Yost here uh, with Woodwind Brassman. We are live at the NAMM 2017 show, uh, and I am with my good friend Gabe here from Yamaha Pianos. Thanks so much, Gabe, for playing playing for us. Sounds great. Um, to be here. Tell us a little bit about uh, this model here and, and maybe what makes it so unique and special. Yes, this is an incredible model. It's a Swiss Army knife for us, really. Uh, and we have a legacy with DGX. This is the latest incarnation, the DGX 660. It is essentially a digital piano fused with an arranger. So it's got an incredible amount of capabilities. You've got a beautiful 88 key graded, weighted action. Okay, it comes with a built-in stand. It has a big display, so you can pull up the score, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Hundreds of instrument voices, hundreds of styles, 192 note polyphony. One of the most notable features we've added though is, I'm using it right now, is a microphone input. So we have a quarter inch input on the back where you can plug in any microphone, and there's a dedicated gain knob on the back, so I don't have to go into software to adjust my gain. And there's a whole mic setting page here with different presets. So you can have a standard preset, a brighter preset, a louder preset, or you can set a user preset. You can set it up just the way you want it. If I want some reverb on there, some chorus on my voice. And since we're Yamaha, we love vertical integration. We have taken features from the pro music side, like we added a three-band uh, three EQ, there's a compressor, a noise gate in here. So whether you're an aspiring vocalist or a professional vocalist, uh, the microphone capabilities in the DGX 660 are fantastic. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is the ability, this is really cool, this keyboard can actually record a stereo wave file, okay, directly to a thumb drive, which is a very professional feature. And you can link the thumb drive, a wave file, to the demo button. So if I hit the demo button, the Yamaha proudly presents the DGX 660 Portable Grand Digital Piano. With wow, that's that's a nice sounding guy, right? Was that your voice? That was my voice. Yes, I, I'm honored to to have the audio demo for the DGX 660, which is a great capability. The other thing I want to talk about is a great collaboration we have with Hal Leonard. Okay, called You Are the Artist. So we have an online music store called Yamaha Music Soft. It's the music store of the future. You can go and find popular titles that you like. Like if I love Adele, okay, I can download Hello, put it on my thumb drive, okay, and then load it into the DGX 660. And here it is right here, Hello. And then when I play it, I can pull up the score and actually see the score. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Uh, so anyway, and take advantage of the educational capabilities, I can engage waiting mode, which is a Yamaha exclusive, where it'll wait for me to play the right notes before it progresses. So this is an amazing feature because of the big backlit screen, you can take advantage of the score display and actually read music and learn how to play, which is awesome. Another thing that's amazing about the DJX 660 is for the first time ever, it has the capability, if you use one of our optional USB devices, this is a USB wireless device, the UDWL01, and it transmits audio and MIDI wirelessly. So I can put this in here connect my DJX 660 to a Wi-Fi network or peer-to-peer -peer with an iOS device like an iPad or an iPhone and I can stream music wirelessly to the speakers of the DJX 660. Wow, it really sounds like this. there's nothing this can't do. It's amazing. Well, it can't give me a back massage, but you know. <laughs> We're Yamaha, we're on the cutting edge, we're going to raise the bar. Maybe in the future we'll incorporate that. But uh, yeah, it's an incredible unit because it just has a, a huge list of features. Like I said, it's a great marriage of a digital piano and also an arranger with the styles and the rhythms and the accompaniment so it, it tracks your chords and you can be a band leader. It comes with a stand, it comes in black, it comes in white. Um, and uh, yeah, the last thing I'll talk about, which is one of the coolest features we took from our high-end Clavinovas, is piano room. So no matter where you are, what menu you are in on the DGX, if you just want to play the piano, you just hit piano room. And then you see a visual representation of a nine-foot concert grand. I can open the lid, I can close the lid, open it halfway. I can change the environment. 
concert hall, recital hall, stage, so, and the reverb on my microphone changes with the environment. So this is a stage reverb, uh, or a concert hall reverb. Beautiful CF samples, which means that we, the piano samples in here are taken from our pedigree CF acoustic pianos. So yeah, that's the DGX 660. It's, uh, it's one of our best sellers, an incredible unit. Uh, it's got the touch, it's got the tone, it's an amazing unit, yeah. I'm Gabe Great. Aldor. Awesome. Thanks, Gabe. Yeah. Um, I think we want to take a look at uh, another, uh, some models in the YDP series. Most definitely. Let's so head over there. let's head over there. Again, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. We'll try to get them answered as soon as possible. So what do we have over here, Gabe? Okay, so, so this is the YDP-163. Uh, this is part of the Arius line, okay? Uh, and there are three different models. Actually, now there's four different models because we have the entry level YDP 103, uh, which is now the entry level. We have the YDP 143, the 163, and the 181, which is not on display here right now. But um, this is an incredible, kind of the baby brother to the Clavinova series, okay? So you get a, a really nice, uh, you know, 88 key graded weighted action. So it's it's simulating an acoustic piano action. The keys are heavier on the bottom and they get lighter as you go up. The 163 in particular, uh, the latest incarnation of this keyboard, we added uh, a very, very important feature, which is it has a triple sensor action. So the keyboard action behaves like a grand piano. Most people don't realize that that at a certain point, uh, our digital pianos behave like an upright piano, which means you, when you strike a key, you have to wait for it to come all the way back up to re-trigger. Oh, that's amazing. It is, yeah. and most people don't realize why they prefer to play a grand piano action. It's actually the, the physical nature of the hammers. So on an upright, they stand up, and on a, on a grand piano, gravity brings them back down. So the key repetition on a grand piano action is better. And and so the YDP-163, for the first time, we added triple sensor action. So And I'll demonstrate it for Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Yeah, let's hear a little bit. So, sampling um, and I, I want to talk about one of the coolest forward-thinking additions that we made to not only the Arius line but a number of our other keyboards as well which is the digital piano controller app and the digital piano controller app is really a game changer because what it is is it's a free app okay it's only for iOS devices currently which means iPad I you know I iPod, iPhone. iPod, right? that's I, taking it back. <laughs> yeah, right, with the white wheel. Yeah. Um, so essentially, it's a free download, and connectivity is easy. You can either connect it with a standard USB cable that goes out of the USB to host port of the keyboard, and then you need a, an adapter called the Lightning to USB adapter, or you can utilize one of our new wireless adapters. We have three new wireless adapters. So this is using the UD BT-01, which is a wireless adapter that transmits MIDI wirelessly. Okay. So this iPad with digital piano controller app is communicating wirelessly with the YDP. But essentially what I have here is I have the entire interface of the keyboard in a beautiful touchscreen display. So if I want to navigate the voices, I can change it to thumbnail view, okay? That's great. Let's see if we can swing the camera around and, and get some of this right oh, you here. Gotta see this. <laughs> so essentially we are controlling 
the piano through the iPad, correct? That's right, yeah. So if I want to if I want to change the voice, there's a pipe organ. Or go back to piano, right? And when you're doing things like, let's say I want to uh, do a dual voice, which means put two voices together. It's great, great, easy visual representation. There we go, piano and strings. And not only that, I can go in here if I want to change the octave of the strings or change the balance between the piano and the strings. It's very easy to access everything. And also, but this has 50 built-in classical songs and they're very easy to see, which is something you wouldn't be able to do on the keyboard because it has no screen. Right, right. So I can go in here and look at this. 50 songs right here, and I can actually select one. Here's a popular one, for Elise, right? Everybody knows that song. You can play it. With the drums in the background, sounds great. <laughs> and you can change the tempo of the song. You can actually select which hand you want to hear, what part. So if I just want to hear the right hand part, I can isolate the right hand part, or vice versa, I can just hear the left hand part. A great educational tool. And there's even a loop mode. So if you want to practice a passage over and over and over again, you can engage the loop mode, which is great. So this is great, it's a free app, and it works with the YDP-103, the YDP-143, which is around the corner, and the YDP-163. So uh, it's really, uh, Yamaha has invested heavily in app development, and um, you know this is a perfect example of uh, the direction we're going with apps and how 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 it expands the user experience right. with the keyboard. I mean, it doesn't add any new features, but it revolutionizes the way that you interact with the instrument. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Very cool stuff. Well, Gabe, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate you showing us around. Again, if you guys have any questions about uh, the two Yamaha keyboards uh, that we mentioned, feel free to leave them in the in the comments. We'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, again, Dustin Yost here uh, with Gabe from Yamaha Keyboards. We're live at the NAM 2017 show in Anaheim, California. Thanks again, Gabe. My pleasure. Have a good one. You too.